Hi, Merry Christmas in advance. I am uh, just trying to think through, you know, how am I going to be as effective as possible this coming Christmas? It's very easy to get bogged down with the events and the, you know, the, the program, the seating, the logistics, uh, getting the word out. And some, some churches, you know, just want to get their own people together. Everybody has an idea. Everybody wants to make it about themselves. And then there is the pastor, pastoral heart, the mission for evangelism. We're trying to make it evangelistic as possible and trying to get everybody to hear the gospel. How do you navigate through everyone's emotions and cultures and traditions to get to that place where you really know you are achieving a purpose? Once Christmas comes through the year, once Easter comes through the year, these are our big opportunities. These are our times when, you know, anybody will come to church. On Christmas Day, you could, any Indian, any anyone who is religious or God-fearing will be saying, yeah, sure, I'll come to church. How can I monopolize on that? I'm thinking, what do I need to think differently or do differently or change just in terms of the onstage, the language, things like that. The question I'm asking myself and I'm asking you as we think about it is, what is my goal? What is the goal of the Christmas service or the, or the Christmas Eve service or the programs. What is the goal of the activities I'm doing? Is my Christmas season, especially the week leading up to Christmas, so heavy, so busy that by the time I get to Christmas Day, I am tired, my wife is tired, my dog is tired, everyone's tired. You see what I'm saying? So is it possible to divide up the different focus focuses uh, uh, and, and kind of get people in our church to take care of the different aspects. Pastor or leader or Christian, le uh, you know, home group leader or you're a worship leader. Each one of you has got something specific that you, I'm encouraging you not to lose that focus. I don't want you to lose that focus. I want you to stay because you get one Christmas. And this there are two priorities this Christmas. One is the mission of God and the other is your family. Family time is very important for Christmas. Your own family must have you, must must uh, have you around. You must give quality time to your children, to your family, to your loved ones. Absolutely. So is that taken care of, number one? And the second thing is, is the mission of God taken care of? So what I'm warning myself of is all of these different agendas people have, Traditions, Yekarna, Wokarna, we wanted this, we want that, we want the Christmas tree this way, we want church this way, please let my daughter sing, please let this happen, please. All of that, in the middle of all that, are, are we losing the focus? So as I think through my service, I want the worship service to have a pre and a post agenda. And I want my worship service to be meaningful from the moment I say go to the time I give the benediction. I think through my songs, what about the worship songs and the carols? Are they leading up in theme towards the message? Have I told my theme or my message theme to, to my worship leader? Have I, have I explained some sort of a direction this is going in? I would ask the question, you know, what do I want to come out of this? Because if I know what I want to come out of this, then I will be able to uh, plan uh, the, the service better. Do I want new people into the church? That's membership. Or do I want to challenge people to human uh, uh, investment? That is, that is the Lord Jesus became incarnate and he came to serve us. I have come to seek and to save those that which was lost. The, the, the Lord did not come to uh, be served, but to serve, you know, these different themes. So am I challenging people? People to ministry or am I challenge, challenging people to mission? The Lord Jesus left heaven, came down to earth on a mission. He says, as you sent me, Father, I'm sending you. Are you challenging a mission? So I want to think through and not hit every uh, target. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't try and accomplish everything in one Christmas. <clears throat> am I getting too busy with, uh, for instance, uh, the logistics of the church or, or have I handed it over to others? What is going to be eaten after the service and, and, and the Christmas lunch? Sometimes pastors or pastoral leaders or the elders, of the, they're running around doing everything for the church. Then people come, they enjoy, they, uh, they, they go away and neither did the family get you nor did the church get you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm talking... 
primarily to those matters. One is the mission of the church, mission of God for our service for the Christmas season. And the other one is your family. Get your family time right. Make sure that we give our families ourselves. And the second thing is, let's be sure that there is clarity in the direction of our ministry. As you plan, pray, you want this service to be an impact. You want it to have ripple effects into your, your town and neighboring towns and villages if, if that's where you are. So as I pray for you and you pray for me, let's have focused, targeted and impacting services this Christmas and let the name of Jesus as it was declared on Christmas night, let's uh, declare it yet again today. It is the only name by which man can be saved, you know. Let's put it out there with the most receptive uh, way we can, the kindest way we can, the most non-confrontational way we can, the most positive way we can, the most healing way we can. And as I, uh, as I broadcast my service and you watch that as well, you will see that many of the things I have put into play. And if there's something we can talk about later and discuss later, maybe in January, I would love to do that. Email me at the email given to you at the bottom of this screen and we will be in touch. But I'm praying for you. Trust me, I'm praying for you. And if you want me to pray for you by name, if you want me for the church and for the ministry, just email me and I would love to be on my knees in prayer for you because that's what we're about. I'm depending on you. You're depending on me. Let's take the, this name to our country and beyond. God bless you.